faith in Jesus. So for us, I hope I know the end of it too. Thank you, Jesus. I hope you do too, Jesus. I hope you do too. I hope you do too, Jesus. I hope you do too. I hope you do too. Thank you. 
Matthew chapter 16, verse 6 to 8. Matthew chapter 16, verse 6 to 8. Matthew 16, verse 6 to 8. Say, then Jesus said unto them, Take me and be out of, of, of the living of the Pharisees and the Pharisees. And the Christian and God said, Say, it is because we are taking no bread. Which way Jesus perceived, he said unto them, O ye of little faith, why is it ye among yourself? Because ye you have bought no bread. This passage of the Bible is very much to understand. The disciples of Jesus Christ, they were talking among themselves. Because Jesus Christ was talking to them concerning the Pharisees. He was talking to them concerning the kind of thing that they would they take from the Pharisees, the living that the bread that they take from the Pharisees. What kind of of war comes from the Pharisees to them? What kind of thing they take from the Pharisees? And because before you have told them that the Pharisees and the Sadducees, they are hypocrites. So it's not if they were telling them there that they should be careful and they should of the living. They should be careful of the living. So we call those kinds of talking about bread. What the Bible says is saying here is that when you give things to your own understanding in law, when you give things to the when you understand it all in law, and you don't look at the, what the word of God says, you don't look at what the teacher of the world says, who is Jesus Christ himself, you don't look at what he says, you leave it on your own understanding in law. Then you don't have you, for you to have faith, you need to die for the east of the word of God. When Jesus Christ was talking to them about the way and the behavior of the Pharisees, because he was talking about prayer. So Jesus Christ just called them people of little faith. What I might say the message this morning, I want to remind you to say is that do not live on your own understanding alone. Be back on the word of God, study the word of God, and then your faith will be stronger and you'll be able to achieve more in Christ. The, the, the disciples of Christ became confused. They rely on their own limited understanding without input on Jesus, who is their teacher. Brethren, unless we gain the knowledge of God's words through the reading and study of the Bible, we cannot have the level of our faith. Number two is Unbelief. What is the case of our faith? I want to show you the sea in the world. 
you have so little faith. Because you have so little faith. We'll see this in Matthew 17, verse 14 to 21. Matthew 17, verse 14 to 21. I'm not reading it now. But that was what happened here. The disciples are not able to heal the boy. And they saw Jesus Christ came. And when Jesus Christ healed the boy, they asked him, Why are we not able to heal him? He said, Because we have so many things. He said, Because of what called them unbelieving and barbarous generation. Because they do not believe that it can happen. And that's why their faith is not, is not admitted. So Jesus is saying here, a small amount of faith could have accomplished a great deal. He said that we call them unbelieving generation. And so he told the disciple that if they have applied belief, the initial amount of belief in the first instant, they would have been able to realize what he wants to do. Number three is doubt. According lack of certainty, doubt. Wavering between belief and unbelief is called doubt. Wavering belief and unbelief. So I don't want to ever talk, I go to shape, I go to the shape, when you have to be in the And doubt is one of the forces against our faith. We will believe that God is and He can perform something. But we are not sure that He will do it for us too. I don't know how to do it. 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 Yeah. 
that for four periods. The New Testament story of how the disciples find themselves with a sleeping Jesus in a boat in the middle of a great storm is an instructive way of letting us know that fear can stop our faith. And when the disciples woke up, woke up with the Jesus, and pleaded that he said that he would answer, Why are you here for that? O G of the New Testament. Then you have to see. Okay. Brother, this is the story of connection between fear and the lack of it. Our men, this is what I call for. Did they? Would I be paying for fair trade in the world? Not the way to go on our laws, the prodigious, not the law of law. The prodigious of money paid, I don't know if he had a very what I might say this morning, the movie of fears, and the face of the movie, and the movie of the company, and the movie of the company, and the movie of the company. One other thing that is close to that is the anxiety. Anxiety is not specific fear of the overall condition. It is not specific fear. That is, you said, you cannot even say the entire single thing that is giving you to be afraid. But you are just afraid. You are just beginning to fear what will happen here that will happen. And this is to worry. A worry brings the pressure to the people's life. That is why the Bible admonishes us in Matthew chapter 6, verse 25 to 23. Matthew 6. Matthew chapter 6, verse 25 to 23. That's 5 to 6. To tell us that we know what our life is, what we will eat, what we will drink, about our body, what we will wear, saying what shall we eat, what shall we drink, what shall we wear. For sin for the kingdom of God and the church of God. Many of us today,
to faith that must be aware of is simply that that of distance. Further, we drift away from God at any point in time, the less faith we have. We are back to the national so only by God or should be to see.
evil tree that is yielding evil manifestations into my life. Let them be uprooted this morning. Go go in deep and reject. You go so so if I don't get to my year. You don't get it back up in the evil year. Don't get it back up in the evil year. Go go in deep and go for you to rest. I want to know she. Every evil tree that is yielding evil manifestation, yielding evil fruits in my life, that is yielding fruit of sorrow, manifestation of evil in my life and family, let your spirit be uprooted this morning. That my faith will be strong in you in the mighty name of Jesus. So what is that? I need to see my year. Go to the show you me. Thank you. 